Uh, okay, someone asked me about offline programming in MCosmos, so let's dive into it. Uh, this is my sample part. You can see here that my model is already open. We can start it up by double clicking this column right here or pressing this button cat 1000 ps not sure what that means anyway this is what it looks like uh, there's a prompt at the beginning that asks you about what model you want to load i think yeah it looks exactly like this so you just find the model confirm you don't change anything about this this is the model um, first thing you need to do is align this coordinate coordinate system with what it's going to be like on the actual part when you measure it in the program so uh, let's say I want to move it onto this face in the Z axis and X and Y at this corner so it's sitting right here in open space uh, you go to file change cat coordinate system this has two parts the first one is for rotations and the second one is for moving the origin um, so let's say I want to align the x-axis with this face so I select x-axis and this pick mode changes what kind of a feature you're looking at could be a point a line a circle so I select a line and I I was taught to click near an edge near close to the edge that I want to use as a guideline so if I click here on this face yeah it aligned but in the opposite direction which is fine yeah you can see the X uh, axis is going to the left if I confirm this this can happen so it's good to try it out uh, takes a while to load yeah so now the X axis is aligned but the rest of it is kind of wonky a different differently than I was anticipating that is fine let's say I want to align the Z axis on the circle and let's say align it with this circle and it's not doing anything okay. oh it is I just didn't see because yeah so it's aligned and I can flip it upside down confirm sure it's hard to see because it shows you both the old system and the new one on top of each other so sometimes you can't really see and now I want to move it so I'm moving the origin I want the X axis to be placed on this face yeah that's the origin and this axis is here and the Y axis here so that's it that's where you really want to start um yeah yeah okay confirm everything click save and then you start this learning mode uh, we need uh, to go into what they call an offline mode and there's two ways doing it yeah my bad so I'm, I'm kind of forced to show you the second way because my machine is off so we need to go to oh what is this called um, I usually don't use it in English so I, oh yeah it's here CMM system manager This is what it looks like and 
because I have the model turned on, it's not letting me, so I have to quit it. I don't do this too often, so I kind of have to go back and forth. Thus making this demonstration unnecessarily long. Okay, uh, he's stuck thinking that something's running, so I have to go out and go back, do it again, system manager. It's hiding on the second screen. I'll get it right back. There it is. And right here, it's letting me do offline configuration, which basically means that he's not uh, connected to the probe. This is disconnected, and he's just imagining things. I don't know how to explain. Now we can go into the learning mode. Uh, okay, which probe? Um, that's actually seven. This doesn't matter too much. Now, before I do anything else, I need. Oh, I... my bad. Okay, all good. There's nothing I need to do anymore. Okay, so right now the machine, the machine is offline. I'll open the CAD model as well. And. Right now I'm using the probe 37 and while the machine is offline, if I change this, there's no physical change on the machine. It just accepts it. It's theoretical. So now I have number three. This is my model and I can settings, graphic uh, setting for probe display no not really settings for machine display yeah so I can see the whole machine the racks and the complete probing system oh, let's do okay mm, not sure why I'm not seeing anything that's okay maybe maybe it's okay mm. um, all right so when I actually stop measuring the pot uh, I'll have to make a manual alignment so I'll start with the top face that's what I need to do here but it's not an actual element right now because there's no way to feed it the points so what you do while you're offline programming is you make it theoretical um, let's call it top face manual and yeah, there's a plane and I'll align align on it, sure. Then I need to do the same. If I was probing this part, I would probably probe this face for the X axis. Okay. Oh length three, that's okay. I don't know something random wherever I think this could be this doesn't matter too much um, yeah and I align the axis sure and then I need to do the final part and that is aligning the y-axis so this is gonna be y-axis we're gonna change this later in the editor we're going to edit it and change it to actual elements. So this is 2 at 1. And yeah. See, this this makes sense when you look at, at what I was talking about doing, about probing this face and this face. This is exactly what you're seeing here. So I have it. I don't have to align on it, I've already aligned the pot, but I need to set the zero. And this is, what do I call that, X, X, Y, manual, I don't know, and it's, uh, 
intersection of these two. And yeah. Now it's completely aligned. Heard this model is the same. So now I need to tell it what to do in case I align the system again. So let's say I decide to change the alignment and I put the move the coordinate system here in this hole. I do it here, right? Because that's where I'm probing, I'm collecting the data and I tell it, hey, move the origin to this circle. And I need to tell the cat model what to do with his coordinate system. So you can tell him to ignore all the things you do in uh, in the learning mode or you can tell him to adapt and move it along with you you'll have to figure this out on your own I don't know how to explain it um, it depends on how you want the model to be used probably just for offline programming I would tell it to move with you and that's coordinate system set relation to cat and don't use not defined it's bad so you can tell it to ignore it or to move it with you so I'm telling it to move with me now there's going to be a programmable stop this is what we're used to careful CNC running I turn the CNC on I'll set a clearance height. Cool. And that's it for uh, putting in co commands manually here. Now the rest of it we do here. So let's say I want to measure this diameter. There's a circle. Yeah, it's slow again. I don't know why this computer is so damn slow. Okay. So, select complete edge. Mm, let's say this one. He's highlighting the surfaces for you. So when I tell him I want to use this. Element scanning. I don't want to scan, I'll turn this off. So, uh, so I complete edge, I'll just do it again. Sure. Start angle. Not a full circle. Yeah, a full circle is okay. Uh, measurement height, right here. That's a lot of points. Uh, that's 200. Yeah, that's way too much. <laughs> I'll just change it to 10. And when you click on this button it just shows you the changes I have to try and make the points bigger it's looking way too small oh yeah that's much better so he tells you the movement he shows you the movement of the what would you call that the trajectory of the probe it's somewhere here right now the way he sees it he goes down to the clearance height moves to the pot and goes in for the first point this is the direction of the probing and he you can see all the points so it guides you with these uh, what would you call that I don't know these green blinking lights is what you want to change select complete edge it's just uh, like targeting the surface that you want to use then there's the angle where you want to start taking the points and measurement height. You just look around and you, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Number of points, name of the element. Let's go to let circle one. I don't know. I don't have a clue. So what he does now is he translates this into a command in the learning mode. see these are almost like theoretical points but he's actually um, giving feedback to geopack 
about some points existing it's from the model so when I finish the element you can actually see it exists it's it has a diameter diameter <laughs> it's got coordinates and I can tolerate it I can look at the flatness it's gonna be perfect because it's gonna be perfect because it's from a model file so I can move the origin into this circle and what happens in the model it moves along with it you can kind of see the original one it says it says something I can't read it it says something like CGS and NCS I don't know this is the new one uh, so you can do all the things you're used to doing here can you do it with the cat model you can uh, get elements I can let's try getting a plane and I'll just do this element uh, select complete edge I'm not sure if, if it's possible to apply grid sure yeah near the edge start point here and here let me look from the top this is probably not good start point here and point here come again start point here point here I'm not sure how these grid grids work yeah that's that makes sense can change the number of lines points per line recalculate yeah this is what we're going to be getting okay he'll feed the points here create a plane feed the points here yeah see it translated it into line measurement pretty cool sometimes if it's really irregular um, instead of doing lines he'll just do individual points uh, which is okay yeah so that's how you get the elements and then you need to run the program when you actually have the pot so let's save this I don't need the model anymore and let's open this in the editor so I can delete this and these are theoretical because I'm not able to feed it manual points the machine is disconnected so when I want it to be ready for actual measurement I need to change it to a measured element I need to finish it and I need to tell it how it how it's getting the points so it's this this action here and I'm telling it you're getting three points that's what you do when you use the learning mode that's what you do so this is what I have to do with the lines as well two is okay and that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions feel free to ask um, I'm always happy to pass what I've learned the hard way to anyone else um, also uh, once you're done programming like this don't forget to turn the ba machine back on to online mode because right now it's really disconnected um, it's not doing anything the, the joystick wouldn't work um, you're not changing probes so you need to go back to here and check out on the offline configuration and that's it good luck